Have you ever made a video in the wind or when the music's just a little bit too loud in the background and when you check it it's just unusable? Well I've got a few tips for you so we can use that video again and you won't even know there was wind or music in the background. So that music's just a little bit too loud in the background isn't it? If only there was a way we could reduce the noise or take it off completely. I'll show you how we can do that. The program I'm using today to do this is CapCut. It's very versatile and there's a free version too. Once you've got your clip loaded in, I want you to right click on it and click on Extract Audio. Once you've done this, I want you to select the audio only and make a copy of it and then paste it directly underneath it. You can do this by right clicking on the audio and then selecting copy or it can be Command C or Control C on a PC. To paste it is exactly the same, only it's Command V or Control V. Select the bottom audio and take the volume down to zero. You can do this by sliding down the sound waves in the box or you can go to the top right hand corner and just drag the slider to the left. Now I want you to select the top audio then move over to the top right hand corner and move down to where it says vocal isolation. Now I want you to keep that on keep vocal. It will take a little while depending on how fast your internet connection is. Mine's not taking that long. You'll just have to be a little bit patient. Well there you go. It didn't take long at all did it? So now when you listen so to it you can actually just hear me talking and you can't hear the music at all. It's like magic isn't it? Or take it off completely. Now with the bottom track selected, we're sort of going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to get rid of the vocal and just leave the music in the background. So make sure in the drop down menu that you click on remove vocal and this will just leave the music. Again, this will take a little while, but it won't be long. And hey presto, you've got rid of the vocal. So now you've actually got two tracks, so you've split the vocal and you've split the music, so you can actually mix between the two. So just mess about with the two volumes and uh, get it exactly how you want it. This is how I've finished up with it. I think it sounds a lot better. So that music's just a little bit too loud in the background, isn't it? If only there was a way we could reduce the noise or take it off completely. I'll show you how we can do that. Let's have a little walk about and it's a Bit, it's a bit so again with this clip which I recorded in the wind just for your pleasure you can hear how the wind's completely spoiling it well I'm pretty sure I can get rid of most of that what does it sound like does it sound windy to you I think it probably does but I won't know until I get home and check it so I've done pretty much exactly the same on this video only this time I've pressed enhance voice as well and I think it's done a really good job what do you think it's a bit windy, it's absolutely freezing, if the truth be known. So I'm walking about, we're just talking, we're doing a bit of a vlog, we're pointing over at the seaside there. What does it sound like? Does it sound windy to you? I think it probably does, but I won't know until I get home and check it. And also in the audio control box, you'll see there's a thing called voice changer. Well, that's a bit of a laugh. See what you think. If you enjoyed that letter tutorial, you can give us a thumbs up and you can subscribe to the channel and that would be very much appreciated. Keep a lookout for some more Cupcook tutorials. Bye bye now.